Hello and welcome to day three of NAB 2019. We are here this morning with Kirk Barker of Technicolor and Ernie Sanchez of Cinefilm. Welcome guys, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having us. Great. So we have Technicolor and Cinefilm here together this morning because you have actually just announced a new joint solution for HDR conversion. Yes. Right. Why don't you uh, share a little bit with that about that with us? Sure. Uh, so Technicolor's been researching and, and working on different things for HDR for about 10 years. So we go back pretty far in terms of what we've been doing. Um, in particular, we have distribution systems as well as conversion systems. Last year, I guess it was in February, uh, we were running a trial with a, a major customer. Uh, where our conversion solutions, which what they do is, is take SDR, move it to HDR, or HDR, move it to SDR, uh, encountered some other problems in the video stream. In particular, we had some old uh, content that had a lot of compression artifacts and a lot of noise, sensor noise. One of the problems you get into with HDR as you do the conversion is you can start seeing the sensor noise that you couldn't see in SDR. So as, as you, you get more contrast and more detail, that comes out. Uh, so, in terms of our conversion algorithms, they work fine, did exactly what they're supposed to, but what we really need was other image processing around the conversion algorithms to pre-process the video, make it good so that we could then do the conversion, and then reintroduce artistic intent if you need it later on. So you need an entire uh, pipeline. Since we had the core components of the algorithm, we started looking around for someone who could partner with us to provide the other parts of the solution. In mm -hmm. particular, Smart. noise removal and some of the film grain type of things that you need for, uh, for film content. Uh, I, I went to uh, Cinefilm and actually challenged them with this particular <laughs> customer and says, hey look, we'll go into a trial with you with this customer. If we perform well for the customer and they like what we do, then let's work together. So uh, this is very much a customer driven thing that made us partner with Cinefilm. So we did evaluation of some internal technologies, some mm -hmm. other external technologies, and at the end of the day partnered with Cinefilm, which we think bring a very good solution for the pre and post processing of the, of the SDR and HDR conversion work. Right. Uh, and do you want to talk a little bit more about how the solution works, Ernie? Sure. Um, so it uses our dark energy denoise technology, which has uh, been used for years in post-production and also in broadcast. And what it does is that basically removes the noise so that way the, the technical process can take hold correctly. And then eventually we'll also reintroduce uh, what we'll call raster appropriate image texture so that way it puts a finishing touch on the image before it goes out. But the key thing is if you don't address the noise, like Kirk said, um, you're just not going to get a good result. Right. And there's a lot of content that originated on film. Mm -hmm. And some of the problems with film is that it has beautiful grain, but it's been crushed down to 30 megabits, 40 mm -hmm. megabits, 50 megabits. And so the grain structure turns into something kind of strange. Yes. And that's a difficult thing to remove accurately. And that's one of the torture tests that we went through was real world, take film, crush it down, what can you do with it? Right. When you think about the opportunity, right, we've been creating SDR content for a hundred years, right? Literally. So there's these huge libraries of content that are out there that need to be converted. If you do that in a, you can always do it in a hand fashion, mm -hmm. very costly, very expensive, or you can have it automated, and, and that's what we really like about the Cinefilm yeah. workflow, uh, is that we can automate that workflow and then be able to attack these libraries of existing SDR right. content because, you know, the issue right now is there's still not a lot of HDR content. There's, there's a content supply issue. So we think this opportunity working with Cinefilm and their existing platforms, mm -hmm. existing work, give access to all the customers of those libraries of SDR content. A hundred years of creation. Trillions of hours. Right. I mean, you think about the, the amount of stuff out there. And these HDR Literally. televisions are flying off the shelves. Go to any big box retailer, mm -hmm. that's all you see are these huge, beautiful UHD televisions. Yes. And when you think about even stuff that's recently been remastered for OTT, for the Netflix mm -hmm. and the Hulu's of the world, all that still needs to go to an HDR format because how else do you leverage what's on that wall of yours hanging in the living room? Exactly, there's a uh, pipeline content problem at this point. Yeah. Exactly. 
Uh, and if you don't mind, Kirk, I'm just going to ask Ernie. Uh, Cinefilm is uh, is displaying here at the show. Do you mm -hmm. guys have anything else new and exciting? I, think, I think our biggest uh, announcement is with Technicolor because yes. when you look at the demos uh, that we have up on the, on the wall, it's really amazing what you can see as far as the differences between the Rec 709 material mm -hmm. and the 2020 HDR Technicolor Advanced ITM. Um, we're taking footage that is 720 by 486 blowing it up to UHD and applying HDR algorithms to it. So if you ever thought that little, you know, I Love Lucy or whatever couldn't be seen in HDR, we can we can definitely show it. Exciting it, it times. It does limit us somewhat when it's black and white. What is black and white? <laughs> but if it's a color. If it's a color, but yeah, absolutely. It's a absolutely. very valid point. Thank you, Kurt. Yes. Okay, well, gentlemen, thank you both for joining us this morning. I know it's a busy show for everybody, um, but thank you for being here. And that's us saying goodbye. I'm Dana McCallum for Post Perspective. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye.